Are you headed back into the office after this terrible, terrible pandemic, but you need some new ideas on how to amp up your work wardrobe? Well, if so, then this video may be for you, so stay tuned. Hey, you beauties, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, it's me, it's T, just with a new hairstyle. Anyway, if you are new here, hey boo, here on You Beauties, we discuss everything style, everything fashion, and everything beauty. Mainly style and fashion. So if you like your girl vibes and you dig in her new hairstyle, <laughs> please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will be alerted the next time I drop a video. So You Beauties, today I wanted to discuss how to amp up your work wardrobe. Now, I know a lot of you ladies are probably still working from home, but some of you guys are getting ready to go back into the office because things are starting to open up a little bit. I wanted to give you a video to show you how to incorporate certain styles and looks into your work wardrobe that will elevate your look and give those girls at work something to be jealous over, honey. You know how we do here on You Beauty. They, everything we do, we got to be... We got to be cute. We got to be va 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 boom. We got to be... <laughs> Who was that? Yes, you see us. So today's video is going to be all about how to amp up your work wardrobe. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. Okay, ladies. So the first tip I want to give as to elevating your wardrobe is to stray away from traditional black slacks, blue slacks, and or gray slacks. What you want to do is incorporate slacks that stray away from those traditional colors. Here, you see I have on a pair of mint green slacks, a colorful blazer, some colorful pumps, some of my favorites that are very, very comfortable. But as you can see, your girl still looks fabulous and still looks professional. So, tip number one would be incorporate colorful slacks. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to give you two variations of each style tip. So, here's the first look. Very, very professional. Very cute, very classy, very business ready. Let's get into look number two. Okay, ladies, here is the second look. Now, I know you're thinking, T, khakis are a traditional color. Yes, they are. However, if you are not comfortable with the idea of incorporating colorful slacks into your wardrobe, you can always stick to the traditional colors. But let's put a little flair on it, lady. You see these pants. <laughs> They're wide leg. Let's give them a little taste of that, of that spice. This is spicing it up. This is leveling it up. Yes, this is a traditional color, but how often do you see wide leg slacks? Wide leg khaki slacks at that. And your shirt doesn't always have to be a button down, ladies. Understand that this shirt can be worn to work. It's not showing any cleavage. It's not sexualizing you in any type of way. So it can absolutely be worn in a business casual office. All you have to do is wear a good blazer with it or a good duster coat with it and you are still professional and cute, might I add. <laughs> this is how we do. So this is for any woman who's like, T, you tripping. I'm not about to go from black, blue, gray, all the way into mint green. That's cool. Stick to, the, stick to your traditionals, honey. I would just say make it pop a little bit. If you're going to do traditional black, Get traditional flare black. If you're going to do a traditional black, get joggers. Get slacks that are not traditional in any sense. Flared, joggers, taper to your ankle, cigarette, something that is not your average traditional slacks like these you see. So this was look number two in wearing anything but traditional colored slacks. Let's move on to the next category. Okay, ladies, so style tip number two. Adding faux leather and or shorts or both into your work wardrobe. Now hear me out. I know leather has been looked at this sexy ordeal since the 19s whatever. But today in this age, faux leather is definitely a must in adding to your work wardrobe. Shorts as well. What's the difference between wearing a skirt and shorts to work? Really nothing, ladies. Like, it's all about the length. If you can put your hands to your side and your skirt and or your shorts is not exceeding your fingertips, then you're good. You're not over you're not overly sexualizing your outfit. 
you're not being unprofessional, you are good. So definitely, definitely, definitely start incorporating shorts and faux leather into your wardrobe. I work at a national law firm here in one of the biggest cities in California. In law firms, you know that it's traditional black slacks, blue slacks, gray slacks, white slacks, whatever, blazers, ties, neckties, and button downs. And button downs. If I can get away with wearing this outfit to work, so can you. My office condone business casual and baby, they can't tell me nothing. Like, there is nothing unprofessional about this look. Nothing. My shorts is all the way damn near to my ankles. My shirt, very classy, very professional. And like I said, I'm not showing any cleavage and or butt area. I'm good. So style tip number two, faux leather and shorts in your wardrobe. But let's get into this, lady. Like, how sexy is this outfit? On a professional level, though. Like, guarantee you, you look at me, you'll think that I'm getting ready to go to the office or I just came from the office. But here it is, ladies. So look, this is look number one in incorporating faux leather and or shirts in your wardrobe. Let's get it into look number two. Okay, ladies, so here's look number two in adding faux leather and or shorts into your work wardrobe. As you can see, I have on faux leather, faux leather joggers with a blazer. Yes, I am wearing a blazer as a shirt. I told you in my Closet Essential videos that it's possible, so I wanted to show you guys how I did it. So, here's the look. Faux leather joggers, blazer, nice pair of pumps, and your girl's looking oh so professional. You can't tell me I'm not, I'm not interview ready. Like, I'm ready to go into the interview right now and get that job. Like, ladies... Faux leather is okay to wear to work. It's okay. It just gives your wardrobe that pop you need, honey. That's all it does. It's nothing unprofessional about what I have on right now. I've worn it to work many, many, many times. And I work with some very conservative people. So, faux leather is okay to incorporate in your work wardrobe. Look at me. <laughs> Your girl's looking, ooh, business scrumptious, business ready. I'm about to snag a job real quick. And after work, I'm going to snag a man. <laughs> I'm ready. So, yes, definitely, definitely faux leather in your work wardrobe. Um, I hope this <laughs> convinces you. Um, I did shorts and I did pants just to give those women like, okay, T, you tripping. I'm not about to wear no shorts to work. So, here's some pants. Still looks very professional business oriented business ready so two looks this should convince you with these two looks let's get into the next style tip okay ladies style tip number three adding prints into your work wardrobe some of you have already begun to add prints in your wardrobe but it is imperative that you start doing it more prints in your wardrobe is a must and as you can see here I am wearing a printed skirt made by yours truly and her aunt. This skirt was my first, very, very first sewing lesson. Um, I can't take credit for most of it though. My aunt did most of it. She even added the pockets like I add. So she is everything. But back on subject. So adding prints is a must into elevating your wardrobe. Prints variation she can go like this. You can wear something printed on the bottom and something solid on the top or vice versa you can wear something printed on the top and solid at the bottom but prints are a must in adding to your work wardrobe because look at your girl <laughs> she looked like a cross variation of I'm going to the islands but I gotta go to work before I go to the islands like love 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 prints at work leopard houndstooth checkered plaid floral it is a must in adding in your wardrobe because look at me, baby. Like, don't I look like I'm just out on my own business? Which I do. But don't I look like a boss? Like, I look like the boss lady. Like, the boss lady's coming, you guys. Get your shit together. <laughs> She's coming. Get it together. Like, I look like the boss. So, prints is a must. So, this is style number one in adding prints to your work wardrobe. Let's get into look number two. Now, ladies, you know your girl's anything but traditional. So when I add prints, baby, it's all over. <laughs> ha 
that I look like a sexy ass Dalmatian right now. Yes, but anyway, so here's look number two in adding prints into your work wardrobe. Now, again, you don't got to be over the top like myself. Your girl is just everything but traditional. I do things my way, love it or leave it. However, you can simply just wear the bottoms and wear a white shirt or wear the top and wear a black color pair of slacks if you like. But you see your girl. I'm walking into the office like this. <laughs> like, look at me. You see these prints and these bow ties and these polka dots. You see it all. <laughs> and the tie on the side. Like, I'm extra. Like, that's just me. Like, this is what I do. Like, <laughs> yes. So, ladies, I hope that adding prints is something that you would do in the near future, especially florals, you guys, and bright colors, because spring is coming, and if you are going back into the office around springtime, baby, you got to represent. You got to go in that thing making them mad. <laughs> like, who does she think she is? Well, who do you think I am? <laughs> you answer that question for yourself. You already know who I am. <laughs> so, yes. Like, prints. Love, 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 love prints. So, please, ladies, I am begging you. To spice up your work wardrobe, add some print. It can be even a printed bag if you like. Some variation of a print need to be your work wardrobe at least one time in the week. Not every day you don't have to add prints. Or if you love prints, you can add it every single day. But Monday through Friday, on one of those days, please incorporate prints into your wardrobe. It's a mess. Like, <laughs> look at me. I'm extra, like I said, you don't got to do it this much, but I love print on print on print. I am a print fanatic, so I added it on the top and the bottom and the shoes, as you can see. But ain't that cute? <laughs> ain't she cute, though? She cute. Let's get into the next style tip. Okay, ladies, style tip number four, adding silks into your work wardrobe. Now, I know you're thinking, girl, you look, you're about to go to bed. Like... You're going to bed right now. But girl, no. These are actually slacks. They are a pair of Velcro slacks that I got from Marshalls. I don't know how long ago. And this is a silk button down that I got from Zara maybe a few weeks ago. But I know I look shiny. But I'm still professional. Nothing is too sexualized. Nothing is showing. No cleavage is showing. My pants may be a little on the tight side, so be cautious of that, ladies. Anytime you get pants that are not your traditional cotton, they will accentuate your curves a little more, especially for those girls who got that, but don't get on back there, so be cautious of that. But silks in your work wardrobe is a must, because, baby, the elevation is real. <laughs> like, yes, they can't tell whether you're going to bed or you're going to work, but when you walk into work, I'm like, okay, girl, I see you. Yeah, you see this silk? It ain't real silk, but you see it. It looked like it's silk-ish. You see this? So definitely, definitely, definitely is something that you want to incorporate in your work wardrobe. Something silky. Something satin along the lines of shiny, silky material. But look at your girl. Look at your girl. Very classy. Very professional. Very chic. Very, you see me. Yes, I'm coming to work just like this. Good blazer, good duster is all you need, baby. Unless I can forget the sunglasses. It's all you need, and you're good to go. So, silks is a must. So here's look number one, adding silks to your wardrobe. Let's get into look number two. Okay, ladies, so here is the final look and the last style tip, adding silks to your wardrobe. As you can see, the only silk I have is at the top. I kept it traditional with the gray pair of uh, slacks. But you cannot tell me this look isn't elevated. Like, this could have been simply a pair of slacks with a regular button down. But I took it to a whole nother level by adding a silk top. And don't your girl just look like she, she run the company. Like, there's a CEO right there. There's the owner. There's a CFO. There's a COO. One of the CCOs, COOs, there she go right there. <laughs> like, you can't tell me that. Your girl just look uh, so scrumptious, ready to go to work, so professional. She's about her business. There's something about silks that just elevates your look at work, ladies. And this is something that you want to do at least one time during the work week. So please do it. 
all four of these tips is to help elevate your work wardrobe. And I hope that you do incorporate these looks into your wardrobe. Please, 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 it is a must. To reiterate what we went over in this video, the first style tip was to add a non-traditional color player slacks in your wardrobe. That could be red, green, burgundy, something that's not your traditional black, your traditional blue, or your traditional gray. Style tip number two, adding faux leather and shorts in your wardrobe. It's a must, ladies. Like, as you can see in this video, I gave you two ways in this video you can incorporate faux leather and shorts in your professional work week and still look very much professional. Style tip number three, adding prints in your wardrobe is a must, ladies. We're talking about elevation. We don't want to go in looking blah. No, we need some prints. Add you some leopard, add you some houndstooth, add you some polka dots, add you some floral, ladies. Get into these prints. And style tip number four, the silk, <laughs> the bedroom, into the workplace, <laughs> like the silk. This is a traditional button down. This button down came from Pretty Little Thing, and I love it. They have it in white, they have it in pink, they have it in purple, and they have it in black. And I love these shirts because, like I said, look how elevated this look is. Like, I didn't went from the worker to the CEO real fast. So I hope this video was very informative. I hope it gave you some great ideas how to start elevating your work wardrobe when you're ready to go back. As always, if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you like it, girl vibes, hit that notification bell so you will be alerted the next time I drop a video. Also, please check out my other videos that I dropped. I just dropped a video on the Shein try and haul. Before that, I dropped a video on how to style a blazer seven different ways. And before that, I dropped a video on a Ross try and haul. So I hope this video is helpful. I hope it is resourceful. When you are ready to go back to work, come holla at your girl. Come watch this video again and get into these looks. Let's add these tips into this work wardrobe and slay for the gods, honey. Have these girls mad at work. Slay for the gods, honey. I will see you guys the next time I drop a video. But until then, you beauties. Bye.